as you know we are talking about uh, the nuts and bolts of writing so within uh, this we've got an important topic how to teach spelling spelling is taken as one of the challenging areas because it um, and there are because of the irregularity of english spellings and because of uh, the sound system so it causes some confusion to the uh, second language learners so we'll just dis we'll discuss what's the spelling and what's the spelling challenge and what activities or strategies you as second language teacher can employ at school college or intermediate level so one of the reasons why uh, spelling causes confusion is the lack of spelling sound correspondence uh, for instance if you look at the word on this slide through and through so the sound is the similar identical and that's what it causes confusion what we can do is to expose our students through reading to these types of irregular sounds or identical sounds and we can also teach our students we can bring in activities tasks in the classroom which focus on uh, uh, developing some rules of spelling and what exceptions are there so uh, for example uh, uh, gh is mostly silent at the end of some of the words so we can teach this uh, you know, exception to our students similarly if you look at believe versus conceive so there is a sort of irregularity uh, between these two although they sound the same but um, there is some uh, irregularity believe versus conceive and of course there are some exceptions if you look at the word sees weird fishes etc so what we can do is to make our students read shorter texts follow the teachers write down write down some of the exceptions write down the rules right so we can also um, teach our students some of the homophones in english language uh, if uh, if we just uh, look at the example through and through so we can um teach them what words sound identical and similarly there are pair of words which sound identical like sun sun so and so so the best strategy is to expose them to such spellings to teach them so spellings overall when are taught appropriately to the students make the reading easy and another way is to expose them to affixes and prefixes um because um the more they are familiar with the irregularity and exceptions and rules the more they can become uh, familiar with the spellings and the, the more they can become comfortable uh, with the reading so spelling is of course challenging and complex area and um it should be incorporated into some of the at the stages of lesson let's say once in a week or once in a month and because every student has different problems may have different problems so we can focus on those students who lack um, proficiency in spelling and and we can also pair some of the students who lack proficiency with with those who do well in spelling so this is how there are different strategies we can use to develop this spelling and uh, one of the areas is to uh, expose them to lot of reading